So welcome everybody to Channeling Korea. Today is March 3rd, 2020. So I picked this date because March 3rd um, numerically it's a 3-3 and 33 is kind of a master number. So that's why I, um, instead of doing it on the weekend or any particular other um, weekdays, I picked the, the March 3rd to take advantage of uh, numerology. So just want to lead everybody into a short meditation and get myself into the, the right state of mind to start to channel Kriya. So everybody take a deep breath and just let it all go. And no matter what it is that have been happening during the day or what it is that you may be doing right now while you're listening to this channeling is to just clear your mind just like as you breathe in and as you breathe out. So breathe out. When you breathe out, just let go of all your thoughts. And when you breathe in, just have the intention that you just want to call back all parts of you. And because there are so many things in our lives that's taking our attention away, it is good to just call all of our attention all the parts of us that seem to be thinking about world events or thinking about our friends or thinking about our loved ones. You just allow all your attention to come back to yourself right now. And as you breathe in, breathe in all parts of yourself. And when you breathe out, let go of all the distractions that no longer serve you as of right now. And just keep on focusing your breath. And as you breathe in, breathe in all parts of you. As you breathe out, let go of all the distractions that take you away from you because the most important person right now is you. Have this date with yourself for the next 20, 30, or 40 minutes. Just focus on yourself, being completely selfish. It is good to be selfish sometimes. Selfish in the sense that you just want to be with who you are. No matter where you are, have no judgment. You're just being here for you. And all of the universe is here for you as well. Because all of universe is simply a part of you. We may look different, we may have different bodies. And sometimes the universe may look more like a tree or a house or a partner or a neighbor. 
but they are just different forms of you. So focus on what is important now. Focus on your heart. Focus on bringing yourself back to the heart of who you are. These are special times, special times because the most important thing right now is to be with who you are, to accept yourself, who you are completely without any shred of judgment at all. It's actually very simple. It's actually very practical because you can only be who you are and where you are at right now. So stop judging yourself and thinking that, oh, I should be, I should be younger, I should be prettier, I should be wiser, I should be doing X, Y, Z, whatever it is. Let go of that. Right now, you are doing exactly what you meant to be doing. That doesn't mean you can't plan to do something else tomorrow or a week from now or a month from now. You can have plans and still accept yourself fully and be with yourself completely, right here, right now. There really is no conflict because we create each and every one of our moment, moment by moment, and there is only now. We may plan to meet up with friends, but that's in the future. There's nothing we can do, nothing we can control how that future is going to look like. All we can do and be is right here, right now. And thinking about the past, regretting that we have done something or regretting that we failed to do something, it's really not helping. Because no matter how much you regret, there's nothing you can do about it in the past. It's already done and gone. So be with who you are right now. Right now is the most important moment. And being with yourself and accepting, not indulging, but accepting, being okay. And knowing that, no, you may not be perfect, but you are perfectly imperfect. And that is okay. That's what we want you all to really get at, to really come to, is get back to you. Get back to the part of you that does not change, that does not need to change that does not judge yourself, that does not need to judge the past, that does not need to 
plan, control, and be nervous or anxious about the future. Just be with yourself right now and get to that part of you that is so full of love for yourself. That has not even a thought of judgment. That fully accept who you are no matter what you do. Because there is no judgment. The reason why human beings does not come with a manual that tells you what is right or what is wrong, it's because it's all up to you. There is no judgment and there never has been. Not from spirit, not from source. We know that you may have, your soul may have goals when you, before you come into this lifetime. Your soul may have goals. However, once you got here though, there is no expectation. All those drop off. Everything that you need, everything that you ever will need, it's already inside you, is buried somewhere because you planted it there. You're the one that planted that seed of who you have chosen to be in this lifetime. It's already planted deep in your soul. And all you need to do is simply pay attention. Your attention is like water to a flower or a tree. When you pay attention to that seed that's already within you, it will start to grow. It will start to attract all the sunshine, all the help, all the people that's going to teach you something or help you on your way into becoming who you truly are. It's all there already. The plan has, has already been laid out. And it's the best plan because it is a flexible plan. It's not fixed. It's not like if you miss that boat, then you're out of luck. No, it does not work like that. It's flexible. If somehow you don't seem to be ready to take that fork in the road, And it's okay. It's a GPS system that when you fail to take one turn that you're supposed to take, then the next turn will come about. Maybe not right away, but it will come back. And this time, you will see more signs. You will be able to get more help to draw your attention that this, this here, ding, 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 this here is what you needed to do. Are you ready to do it this time? It's really spirit's way of asking you, hey, 
you didn't do it last time, but it's okay. We know it's not easy. We know you may not be ready. However, this time, what about this time? You may be ready. And if you're ready, then everything would just line up for you to be able to take that road that you have laid out for yourself long before you came onto earth and took on this identity as you yourself. And sometimes, maybe once you came here, you decided, no, not this time, not in this lifetime. And it's okay. Something else will get sorted out so that you can course correct and take on a different task, totally not what your soul came here to do. But there's no judgment because we know it's easy for the soul to say, yes, this is what I want to do. But once you came here, the circumstances may be completely against you. And it's okay if somehow you decided that you can't you don't want to go that route, it is fine. There is something else, there's always something else that you can do instead. And because your soul is connected with you all the time, you can always find a different purpose. Redefine a different purpose root that is most appropriate for who you are right now. And yes, sometimes there may be other people that's waiting for you to show up to fulfill your part. And that's okay because everything is flexible. If you can't deliver it, and someone else would be able to do it on your behalf. Because we actually are all parts of each other. It is like a gigantic spider web. If one part of the spider web is broken, maybe <clears throat> a really big stone fell through and broke part of that web. Then something else will show up to bridge the gap. So that's how it actually works. So there is no judgment. Your purpose, your only real purpose is simply be. Simply come here to have experience. There may be experiences that your soul really wants to come to have. Those are actually secondary. 
the most important one, which you can never fail, is simply to be here. And simply to enjoy this life, to appreciate all the other companions that are here and to really marvel and enjoy all the creations that different parts of you have co-created. When I say appreciate, I really mean appreciate. Not just appreciate the good things, but also appreciate the things that some people may describe or judge as being horrible. You need to understand that. That's precisely what you came here to witness and to experience. Because spirit, when you're on the spirit side, when you're on my side of the veil, there is no lack, there is no suffering. It's none of that. You don't know how much of a privilege it is to be able to create the illusion that you're actually experiencing lack, experiencing suffering. And you should also know that all of those are simply illusions appearing very real but nonetheless simply illusions i know it may be hard to comprehend how this is an illusion You know it is an illusion because when you really learn how to create how to shift your perspective how to let go of it, how you see something and be able to look at the same event or the same experience from totally different angle, then you'll be able to see the illusion. You'll be able to actually let go of the illusion of lack and get back to experience abundance. Because lack is simply an illusion. You are source. You are actually a part of the divine matrix. You are the creator of your own experience. And when you really understand that, you know that you can actually uncreate whatever it is that does not serve you anymore. 
And let go of all the thought patterns, all the beliefs that is holding that lack in place. And when you let all of that go and allow thoughts of abundance to come rushing back in, And when you witness that transformation, then you will truly understand that it is all just an illusion for you to experience. So we encourage you to stop focusing on only looking at events and experience from your perspective and start to drop beneath that perspective. And go back to the perspective of source. Drop back into that ocean of abundance and peace and joy and love. Have love for yourself. Have love everything that you're experiencing even when you don't prefer it love that you can actually create that illusion for yourself look at it from that point of view laugh really laugh Laugh at yourself when you're angry. Because when you laugh at yourself, you can't stay angry for long. When you don't take yourself too seriously, when you don't take your unsupportive mood too seriously, it's much easier to drop back down to that river of peace and love and joy. Because underneath all of that dissatisfaction underneath all of that anger underneath all of that frustration when you drop through all of that there is peace there is true joy that's just waiting for you. If only you would let go of those thoughts that's actually boxing you in tighter and tighter. In a certain way of thinking that is not allowing you to see that the solution This has always been there. We just have to turn around. And look at what you think is a problem. Look at it from the angle
that does not have it as a problem anymore. When you truly understand that there is no problem in this world that is bigger than you, unless you agree that it is bigger than you, then the problem will do as you ask it to be, to be insurmountable. But that is just an illusion. Take the position that there is always a solution to whatever it is that's in your life that's stopping you right now. And really start to remember how powerful you truly are and how much the universe actually loves and supports you. Because even if you try to create the worst problem for yourself, when in fact, They are all just illusions. The universe will support you. But once you wake up and remember that when you can create something, you can also uncreate it. you have the power to bring in all the help of the universe. To shift yourself one step at a time out of a tight corner. And you can, because that's who you truly are. A creator, first class creator, someone who can create anything out of thin air by just being completely aligned with what it is that you want to create and really focus. Focus on feeling, being completely congruent. with manifesting that new creation. When you can feel it being real, and hold that thought until the universe is sure that this is what you want. And you can just place, just place that order and shift it and push it out to the universe. And all of the universe will conspire to make it come true.
And that is who you truly are. Powerful, creative, magnificent, So feel that, feel that within your heart, feel that. That vital energy, that power of source within your heart, it is there. You put it there, your soul put it there before you were born, it was there. Everyone has it. It is already there. You have everything you need. If you know where to look, you have everything you need already. It is all within you. No, you don't have all the people. You don't have all the money. You don't have all the raw materials. but you have the power to command and attract to you all of that. Everything that you need is connected to you from your heart. It's all within you. You don't need to take it and bring it with you. It's yours to command. You just have to align with it. Aligning means have one thought only. Not one thought that says, oh, I want this. And then the next thought is, oh, I don't deserve this. And then the next thought may be, how am I going to make that happen? I don't know how. No, just one thought. This is what I want. That's it. Nothing added. Just one aligned thought. No seconds. No contradictory. Just one thought. This is what I want, universe. Surprise me. So we would like to remind you that you are that powerful. You're so powerful that every thought you have has energy, every thought, not just every other thought, but every thought. So make sure that every thought supports what you want. I mean, if you don't mind waiting, you can take one step forward and two step back. But if you really want what you want, then we suggest that you only have aligned thoughts. Just one single thought. And all the other thoughts that you may have supports that one thought.
That's our suggestion. But you feel free to take the scenic route. Because we really enjoy seeing you going through all of that. Trying to second guess yourself. We don't judge. But we do know that all of that is simply how you want to play. And we do know that at some point you would get serious and decide, okay, now I really want this and only this. At some point, you would decide to get serious. and manifest exactly what your heart desire. Until then, enjoy the scenic route. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy all the other side trips. There's nothing wrong in that. Because, let's face it, it's a lot more enjoyable to watch a football game or a basketball game where sometimes you fumble, or sometimes the players fumble, make mistakes. Imagine if nobody ever makes a mistake. Every time they shoot the hoop, they get in. Every time, everything, it's always perfect. It gets boring, actually. It's like, who would want to play with that team? Because they know that there's no chance against that team. Everything is just always works out exactly what the players set out to do. That's what you're actually doing. Taking side trips, enjoying the journey. So don't beat yourself up. It's okay to enjoy the journey. Know that at some point, if you choose to, you can get serious and really nail that creation. Until then, have fun. Have fun watching yourself and other people fumble, missing the goal, missing the mark. That's part of the joy of being human. So just sit
sit in this moment of enjoying your human journey. Let go of any thoughts that it should have gone this way. No. It should have gone the way it went. So wherever you are at, it is perfectly all right. Be in this moment of enjoying your human journey. And feel this love. This love is all around you and all inside you because we love you. We love you because you are just a part of us and we are love itself. We don't know how to be any other way with you. But we understand that some of you were so good at creating that you actually manage to create situations where you don't feel that you deserve love or you don't feel that you have all the love that you needed. And that's totally a creation. You actually are love itself. All of these thoughts of I'm not loved enough or I don't deserve love, simply a creation. The fact is, we, we, all of us, you, me, they, humans, aliens, all around the universe, parallel universe, all of that, all just one big love. That's what we are. Because that's what the creator is. The creator can only create from itself. And the creator is love itself. So how can anyone else, anything else that he has or she has created can be but love itself. That's just a very long-winded way of saying that we love you. You are part of us. And we simply don't know any other way to be with you except loving you and supporting you. By reminding 
how much you are loved by reminding you how powerful you truly are. We really wish that one of these days you will actually believe us. But we okay if you don't. Because it's all up to you. It's your creation. And no matter what you want to create, we support you wholeheartedly. Thank you for joining and allowing us to be with you in spirit. To hold you in our energy and allow us to be in your energy as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is the end of the channeling session.